kindergarten, this is your um, focusing question task writing assessment for this part of module four. So you'll see it says Way and Wisdom Virtual Passport. And there is our Harlem Park Roadrunner. This is our writing assessment for the first part of Wit and Wisdom Module 4. Please see the instructions in the, in the assignment on Google Classroom. You will complete the pages as we cover the material in class, so you don't have to do every page yet. Just do them as we cover the material, and I'll let you know when that is in our daily to-do list on Google Classroom Stream. Don't turn in the assignment until you're totally completed with it but save your work when you're using Nearpod, okay? So here's my example of the first page. It's the passport photo page. So I drew the, my picture of myself for my passport, and I, am, I will write my name here, and I'll write the continent that we live on. Here is the first page. So you're going to draw your picture using Nearpod. Here's the coloring tool. So you can choose what color you want to use. Draw, you can give a stick figure, do your best to give it detail. You can use, you can make it, give it a t-shirt, just like a real passport picture. So if you need help looking what that looks like, ask your mom and dad if you can see their ID, and that will show you what a passport picture looks like. Give them some hair. Give them some eyes. It's a little tricky to use the coloring tool, but if you, as you practice, you'll get better at it. Okay. Give them a smile. Okay, and then I'm going to go over to the text tool. I'm going to choose the color for my text, and I'm going to move my text box. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and put it right over the name. It doesn't need to be too big. And then I'm going to type in the name. So I'll just write student1. Make it a little bit longer and put it right where it goes. Okay. Then I'm going to use a new text box. Again, make it smaller. Move it where it goes, and I'm going to write the continent that we live on, which is North America. Okay. There we go. And then I'm going to read the instructions. So you should draw a picture and label the picture to tell the important facts about each continent as we learn them. Please include multiple examples of from each continent using the text evidence from the books that you're reading in our Wit and Wisdom lessons. Use a short sentence or give a description for each example. You can feel free to label items in the picture. Make sure you take your time and do your very, very best work. We're not doing them all at once, so you can take your time with each page. And moms and dads and caregivers, remember that this is your students' work, not your work. It doesn't have to be perfect, but they should do their best effort. Of course, feel free to help them write the, type in their sentences because that's a new skill for kindergarten. But if they need to practice it, they could write down the sentence for you on a piece of paper and then you can type it in for them. So here's my example. I used multiple um, pieces of evidence from the book and then I labeled my pictures. I used details, I used some color. Some of them are more detailed than others and that's okay. Just do your best. You'll go to your first page and you'll see that you can move the, move the instructions up and you'll have lots of room to work. You can use the drawing tool. You can use the highlighter if you want to make it less um, translucent. You can use the text tool. Or you could even add a picture. If you wanted to draw your picture on a piece of paper, then you could um, take a picture of it and then find it on your computer and add it to the document. So if you have trouble coloring the pictures, feel free to draw your pictures on paper and then add them in just like I did. Okay? Um, when you're finished, you're going to... Oh, over here you can send me a note so you can save it to your Google Drive. Um, 
or you can send me a note. See the menu. When you're finished, you're going to click Submit. Your document to update it and you to complete another page you can go to nearpod.com forward slash student forward slash and enter our code our code is DPZKS that's the code just for this lesson so if we have another lesson on your pod it will have a different code um, and I will all have all of this in our Google classroom in the assignment you click join You're going to keep your same name so it will remember you and click join session. And I'll click back through the introduction tabs and look, my work is still there so that when I go and complete another page, I can complete this page and hit submit and then the next time I go in, my work will still be there from the previous, um, from my previous work. So I don't have to worry about that. If you have any trouble, don't worry. Every time you hit submit, I will be able to see your um, work. So I will have it documented, okay? So don't worry if you go and you don't see it. Every time you hit submit when you're finished, I will be able to see it. Okay? That is our assessment.